Does anyone here work at Subway or a sub shop? If someone is being a bad customer, do you, and this is my theory, because I don't, apparently I've been a bad customer and I, I've showed up too late where they have everything closed down. It's like, whoa, 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 guys, there's 10 minutes left. Make my sub, please. I think that's why they're mad. Uh, but they cut through, but they don't cut through the bottom part. And I think that's on purpose. That's like these guys that do the plumbers that put in the, the, the soap through the pipe or the whatever, the water line. This is hilarious. You shouldn't have been an a-hole. That's the, the lesson here. That was personal. Tell them one more time. Mustard sucks. Where's condiment? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't say sorry after you say that. And that is not true. Sweet relish is the worst. I'm 32 years old with a $300,000 net worth. And I'm 31 years old and poor. Poor. With a capital P. Poor. I don't know what it is with, like, the money influencers. but they, Most of them, 90% of them drive me nuts. Uh, except, like, there's one. I don't even remember what the guy's name is, but his daughter was on the show and was like, I'm going to be a millionaire by the time I'm 20. I'm going to be a millionaire before I'm 20, and this is how. I work for my dad's company. It's like, yeah, because your dad gave you the money. So what, you're not inspiring anyone. You're just making yourself look really silly. I have a net worth of this. Who cares? Truly. I have a baby, they said. It'll be beautiful. They said, oh, 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 oh. A lot of people having babies now. This is what you're dealing with. Look at He's happy, too. He's just. That's our, our next couple months coming up. It's worth it. It is worth it, but it is it is messy sometimes. Yes. Hey, guys. Um, I just want to let you all know that uh, if you guys are my friends, um, I can't go out with you guys no more. I can't be friends with you guys no more. I am not, I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm gonna stop going out. I'm gonna stop doing everything. Um, I'm gonna delete my social media. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do all that. Uh, this is a personal decision that I made. No, nobody forced me to do it. Uh, it. It's all on me. It's just something that I decided for myself. So um, please, if you have my number, contact me, delete it immediately, block me if you have to. <laughs> All right, man, it is going to suck maybe, but you got to get out of that. Run, like get out of there, dude. I hope you don't end up on one of those stalker shows, but you got, that's abuse, man. <laughs> that's abuse. I wouldn't say I need a magnetic goose. I wouldn't say I need a magnetic goose, but I love... I wouldn't say I'd need a magnetic goose. Nobody. Drunk libertarians. <laughs> F taxes. <laughs> That's me. Uh, every time. F taxes, man. I'm 5'11. Sorry, I don't date guys below six feet. Uh, there's a wild stat out there. I'm, I'm going to ballpark it, but I believe, like, I want to say 12 to 15% of guys are six feet or taller and then the women out there you see the videos all the time of uh, they, they have to be six feet and make six figures we'll say so you, there's that percentage and then the percentage of men who make six figures is like eight percent or something like that I, uh, I yeah i saw the video a couple days ago and this is yeah Hey guys, Editor Megan here. You know I like to fact check him and make sure I'm only putting up accurate statistics. Well, this one was surprisingly difficult to verify. I found the video he was referencing, so I'll play that here. I woke up this morning and I felt like absolute garbage. For anybody who wants to know what garbage is, it's French for trash. So as you can see, she's showing a screenshot that says 3% of men in the US are 6 feet or taller and make $100,000 or more, but this isn't even from a research paper. This is literally just a screenshot from some forum that a whopping two people liked. And this person didn't even include any research to back up their data. So the actual numbers that I could find shows that about 15% of men in the United States are six feet or taller. Now the shocking one was to figure out how many people earn $100,000 or more in the United States. 
And it was so difficult to find because a lot of these websites like to talk about household income, which is very frustrating because that is completely different from individual income. So what I did find is that about 15% of people earn $100,000 or more, but that doesn't specify men versus women, and it definitely doesn't specify who's six feet or taller. So there you go. I spent over an hour trying to research this for you guys because I was getting pretty annoyed. And also I get annoyed when people just show the top result on Google without doing any further research. So I did that for you guys. Add a couple of swirls of Dawn in addition to regular detergent to get cleaner clothes. White or white, stain remover, great smell, and also keeps washer shiny clean. Hope no one took that advice. I hope that ooh, that woo, that's me. That's a mess. I didn't grow up with Fortnite. I grew up with this. They should bring that back with the same graphics and make it battle royale, just like Fortnite. That would be awesome. Minnesota moms in the nineties. For Pete's sake, get down! The Schwanz man's here. <laughs> Well, Mom, why do we got to hide from the Schwanz man? Because we don't want to buy anything from him. <laughs> Can't we just tell him that we're not going to buy anything? Oh, come on. That would be rude. <laughs> Dude, I swear I've been this, in this situation. Uh, and the, the Jehovah's Witnesses that come to the door, it's the same thing. Is the Schwanz man, I know it's a Minnesota-based company, but do other do other states, do you guys have the Schwanz man? It's literally a food truck that comes to your house and, and you buy stuff from the magazine. You can buy ice cream, you can buy chicken breasts, whatever you want to buy, they have it. It's pretty expensive, but it's, I don't know, it's worth it in my opinion. We don't do it now, but I do remember hiding from the Schwanz, man. We don't know, no, he's there, don't answer the door. I pressure you into buying some freaking the push-up, the push-pops, the push-ups. Not the sherbet kind, that's, that's gross. Before we get to beheading, I want to thank our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's... That's bad. <laughs> Cage against the machine. Oh, hell yeah. Nicholas Cage against the machine. Does Isn't he in a band? Doesn't he have a band? Jumping in here one last time because I had to fact check this one as well. And no, Nicolas Cage is not in a band, but there is a band called Nicolas Cage Fighter, and it's based in Australia. However, Nicolas Cage's son was in a band called Ghost Metal. Okay, that's the last fact check of this episode. I wanna share with you how to make money trading. Listen carefully to what I'm recommending. Do the opposite. <laughs> uh, there is a an inverse ETF the Kramer inverse Kramer ETF, and it is way better. It, the returns are amazing on it compared to what his actual calls are. I can't believe he still has a show, honestly. Bro, see that baddie over there? Dude, watch this. Okay. Watch this. Dude, dude, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was good. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's fire. Dude, that was fire. That was yeah, crazy, dude. You almost talked to her. That was cruel. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. Sorry, can't. Sundays are when I focus my anxieties on several unpleasant hypothetical situations that could happen this week. <laughs> Got a little case of the Sunday scaries, huh? You know, I hope you don't have that in your job, but it's kind of sad. So really, like you have one day off a week. You get off Friday. Maybe you got half a day Friday because you waste half the day at work and not really do anything. You do whatever you want Saturday. Then Sunday, you're thinking about you're having the Sunday scary. So that's kind of a work day. So you get, you're get you working six days a week. That ain't good. I can't watch a movie where a dog dies, but I can watch a serial killer documentary where 29 people are murdered to relax at night. There are some... Uh, it, it is kind of weird. It is very sad to see a dog die. I hate that. I really hate that. Now... Yes, I, the serial killer shows. There's a couple of uh, YouTube channels that are really good. Gosh, what's that one? Um, JCM, JCS Psychology or something like that. Phenomenal. 
YouTube channel. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't really like them and they only post, they rarely post. But you will binge those videos. It's wild. How to tell if you were hot in the early 2000s? Growing up, there was no confusion on whether or not you were hot. There was one sole indicator that told us if we were hot or not. And the truth hurt a lot of the time, but you know, it's better to know than to not know. And that indicator was walking into an Abercrombie and Fitch and being asked if we wanted to work there or not. And I hate to say this, but there was also a hierarchy inside the Abercrombie family. So if you were like the hottest of the hot, you worked at Abercrombie Fitch, middle of the road hot, you worked at Abercrombie. And if you were just like, just slightly attractive enough, um, you could work at Hollister. And that's where I worked for a day until I saw their stock room. And I was like, this. Uh, yeah, never, never really shopped there. Um, it's all about JC Penny back in the day. Get a couple shirts, good to go. You don't need that uh, the spendier stuff. And the other what was the other one? Holl Hollister, right? Hollister, American Eagle, right? American Eagle, Abercrombie Fitch, Hollister. Those are like the three big ones. American Eagle is that it? I think that's what it was.